Dr. Thompson, simply put, what's the best prevention for heart attack? Is it lifestyle and diet? Is it that simple? Well, lifestyle and that's diet simple. are not simple. <laughs> no, that's right. Not but not it probably, right. you know, Raina, it, it probably is. It, it probably is. You know, first of all, as we've talked uh, in some of our other discussions, you need to know your, your genetic history. Mm -hmm. But even if you got the genetic lottery, so to speak, and nobody in your family has had heart disease, uh, somebody's going to be first and you don't want it to be you. So you, it is lifestyle and exercise and, and what we call controllable risk factor reduction. We can't control our genetics, we can't control our age, we can't control our gender and those uncontrollable things we just can't change. Mm -hmm. But what we can change is we need to control uh, those risk factors. Our blood pressure, it's very important you know what your blood pressure is. And for most of us, the top number uh, when you get to be 30 and above should stay in the 130s on the top okay. and in the 70s to maybe 80 on the bottom. And, and that's something that you can take care of. You should know what your cholesterol levels are, not just your total cholesterol, the good cholesterol, mm -hmm. the HDL, the bad cholesterol, the total cholesterol, your triglycerides. And some people need to know, because of their family history, uh, some other uh, factors there, uh, lipoproteins, homocysteine, mm -hmm. and some of those things. Oh, and right. your health care provider can order those blood tests. But what you can do on your own is try to keep your weight down, try to stay within uh, uh, body mass index of 27 or less, which is very mm -hmm. tough. Definitely that's 30. That's quite lean, or, isn't it? That's that's pretty lean. That mm -hmm. is, but it it makes a difference. Also, uh, try to try to uh, work exercise into your everyday life, and it needs to probably be 30 to 45 minutes is the best. But a 10-minute walk is mm -hmm. way better than no walk at all. So some people will say. Well, I don't have time to give 45 minutes to exercise today. Well, maybe park your car uh, farther from the door at work, uh, but, take the sir, stairs instead of the elevator. Or you could walk across the building to someone's desk instead of emailing, Instead right? of emailing. That's exactly right. <laughs> so, so just yeah. think about those things and, and, and you know, multiple 10-minute walks are, are way better than no walks at all. And then the other thing is our diet. You know, we uh, tend to eat a lot of fast food. We tend to not eat uh, very many uh, mm. uh, of the nutrients that really help us. I, I heard once uh, that at one point the number one vegetable in the United States was the French fry. I knew you were going to say that. And so we need to, to modify our diet, and there's uh, all kinds of information you can get on that. And I think that there are some real benefits for people to look at uh, nutritional supplements. Uh, and, and that may depend on whether they're a diabetic or mm -hmm. not, what, you know, some other issues, are they male, are they female, but they sh certainly should look into that. And I think uh, if they have certain risk factors, they should talk to their health care provider about are there supplements that can help them. Mm -hmm. And then the other big thing is if you get a prescription and you're supposed to take it, take it, be alert for side effects and report them if you have any but the medicine can't help you if you don't take it, and the supplements can't help you if you don't take them. Uh, so all of those things, I think, really uh, uh, work in har harmony to, to help us lower our risk. And I think another factor is stress. I was going to ask about uh, that stress. Emotional stress uh, really does a lot of things to us that are negative. And mm -hmm. there, there was a wonderful book written by a cardiologist several years ago called uh, stress without distress mm. and uh, if somebody feels they may be stressed that would be a good source for them to read that you know stress in and of itself is one thing but becoming distressed over the stress in our life is probably what really uh, harms us so we need to learn how to handle those things great meditation meditation yoga that walk you know mm -hmm. the, not only is the is the physical exercise good for our heart and our muscles but it also is a great stress reliever, you know, to go for a walk. So mm -hmm. if you have a half hour break at lunch, maybe take a 15 minute walk and then eat your lunch. Very good. Thank you, Dr. Thompson. Thank you.